Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Clyde edwards -E Lair. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button to notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. And also, leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I'll be live tonight over on Twitch if you haven't come through yet. I recommend you do. I mean, also did just drop some limited merch. We got hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, and masks as well. So if you do want to cop some merch, I'll leave a link for the merch website down in the description as well. All right, so here is the man himself, Clyde edwards Lair. We have Goatee, 50 out of 50 and Sprinter on him, and it doesn't boost his overall at all. If you were to run something like Power Run or Zone Run, I'm sure that would boost his overall um, over 90. And also, if you're having like a Chief Steam team or something like that, that'll probably boost his overall. But the fact we're running Go Deep, uh, Go Deep, I haven't seen Go Deep boost a running back yet this year. I don't even think it boosted Reggie Bush, honestly, but um, yeah, Clyde edwards lair has got 91 speed, 93 acceleration, 89 agility, 83 carrying, 79 catching with 87 COD, 77 trucking, and an 87 break tackle. So Clyde, I do see some problems with this card. The first thing being the speed at 91. If he had base 91 speed and with full sprinter, he was able to get to 93 speed. That would be way more of a W. I feel like with 91 speed at this point of the year, um, mid-November, I mean, 90 speed on the running back is just not what you're looking for. Um, and also the fact that Clyde is 5'7 with that 83 carrying and that, and that 69 strength with full sprinter. Um, I got a feeling this card might have a fumbling problem. I could be wrong with that um, because there's not many fumbles in Madden 21. But I mean, with 83 carrying, 69 strength and being 5'7, 207, I feel like there could be a fumbling problem with this card, especially if you like running the ball a whole bunch. And today, in today's video, I'll be running the ball a whole bunch. So if he does have a fumbling problem, we'll probably be able to see that. Hopefully we don't face like a Taylor Mays or like a or like a uh, like a Patrick Willis or a guy like that. But but um yeah, and also I, I do want to see his juke and spin move. So yeah, 89 89 juke move and an 87 spin move with an 81 stiff arm and an 85 ball carry version. So not he's not even the best as a ball carrier as far as like juke move and spin moves goes and stuff like that. So I do think Clyde, I don't know how this card's gonna play. I I, I don't know if he'll be the best budget running back. I feel like I'm still going to prefer Le'Veon Bell to this card, and both their prices are going to be very similar, obviously, so um, it kind of will come down to preference, but I just don't see myself saying that Clyde's going to be better than Le'Veon um, as far as his budget RBs go, but um, yeah, Clyde, let's over to the abilities. He, do he does actually get very good abilities um, in the first slot. Here here's what we got. Does get Jukebox in the first slot. In the second slot, gets Leapfrog. Does get Backfield Mismatch. Gets Reach for it. Um, uh, Balance Beam as well, which is actually pretty good. These abilities are really good for an elusive back, especially at 90 overall. Um, you don't see many guys that have balance beam. I don't, I don't know what thresholds you need to hit for balance beam, but yeah, there are a few things that you don't see on a whole bunch of elusive backs. And also in the, in the, uh, in the third slot, he does get, um, evasive and backfield master. So if you are rocking a guy like Favre or a guy like Josh Allen, you can throw backfield master on Clyde Edwards E. Lair and he's going to play great for you. Um, putting those text routes on the field, putting those flat routes out there. It's definitely going to, um, elevate Clyde's, um, Clyde's, uh, Clyde's pass catching game. Um, if you're able to add those routes onto the field. We're rocking a field general today, so we don't have to run um, backfield master. It'll probably help if I were to run backfield mismatch, but today I'll be rocking a jukebox. I feel like with that lower juke um, stat, I feel like having jukebox is probably going to help this card out a whole lot today, especially because of that speed. We have to kind of rely on making guys miss. Um, I probably won't be able to stop and go too much, but um, yeah, I'll just hop right into it. Let's see how Clyde plays. I do not have the highest of expectations for this card today. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I don't think Clyde's going to either dethrone Le'Veon Bell or or Ronald Jones, but hey, you never know. Right, here we go. That is our top three. We got Steve McNair, Crow, and Chad Johnson. And he's got Josh Allen, Troy Polamalu, and Taylor, Na and Taylor Mays. And his name is Dave Kermola. This guy's got his legal name as his gamer tag. There's got to be some kind of problem with that, right? He's got Taylor Mays in the hole. Okay, not a good start. Not a good start. This guy, I think, might have a run D-bag. Here we go. Let's try a little bit of stretch here. This guy's got some demons up front. Uh, yeah, this, this, this might be a pretty tough one. I'm not going to lie. He did pinch everyone. Oh, I, didn't, I, I was trying to run it left, actually. Yeah, I want to run that left. Okay, this is not a good start. Two rushes for three yards for Clyde. I want, I want to try to get him the ball in the open space here. This guy's running a cover three, so... We should have a check down wide open to him here. Middle field open right there for Chad Ochocinco for a first down. The pulling. Nope, and... Okay. Brandon Sheriff... Just lets Palomalu just run right by him and just, it, dude, what is, what is run blocking, bro? I swear to some, that's where the dudes I face, their linemen never dumb out like that. But for me, my linemen, they just stay dumbing out. Like, it makes no sense, dude. 
Let's see what Clyde can do, man. It's not looking too good for us. We, we actually might get a first down here. First down for Clyde. And there we go. Four rushes for, for 15 yards. We finally get some form of life running the ball. All right, let's just put Clyde on the screen here. The plan is just to get him the ball in open space because I haven't been able to get him in any kind of open space so far. Juke move. And there we go. Um, yeah, that's a, that, that's a nice little gain of three right there for Clyde. I'll do this. Let's, yeah, okay, we'll do this. Clyde can get open. Open space. Add a boy, Clyde. And yeah, do this card. You feel the 91 speed. I'll tell you that right now. You you feel every single ounce of that 91 speed, man. For real. Clyde's tired. I'm actually gonna call a timeout. All right, here we go. Let's try to get Clyde open underneath. We're gonna have Clyde again. Clyde's doing better catching passes, if I'm being honest. Him putting these Taylor Mays through these gaps, it's actually he's actually doing a really good job of it. Cut up field. Oh, we actually have a touchdown. Touchdown, Clyde out of Lair. We cut it back. I'm not sure why LT didn't tackle me, but that is our first. Clyde Edwards touchdown of the day, man. Struggling to move the ball, though. Struggling to run the ball. Um, kind of had a few good runs right there, but that cutback was actually kind of mature from Clyde. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's going deep. The ball's going to go deep here. Nope, and it's going to be caught. It's going to be caught. Wow. DK Metcalf for a touchdown. I think Dion would have outran him, actually, right there. But he Dion's just so, like, I mean, not Dion. DK's just, like, so big that, like, Dion couldn't get around him. Good run again, and there we go. I try to get it outside, but Clyde simply does not have the speed for that. Let's see what happens. We're going to blitz Taylor Mays. We actually do get the pass off. Double juke from Clyde. Give me a first. No, we don't get the first down. It's now 38. Uh, should I get Clyde open here in the flat? Clyde, oh, Clyde, please catch it. Clyde, no, I don't know why I threw it. Uh, dude, I'm struggling so bad right now. I don't know why I threw it before the first down marker. Like, I should have just gone for a first. At a point, I got to just ditch the game plan and just get a first down. That's, that's what has to happen. Please throw it. No, I don't have the... I knew, it was, I knew he was going to go there, too. I tried baiting it, but yeah, it was just a good throw, man. Just a really good throw. All right, 15 seconds left here, um, and uh, I can't take a shot. I'll probably just end up running stretch a few times, see what, see what we can do with Clyde. If, if, if it's nothing, then you probably will never see it, and you'll see me in the second half, but if we do end up breaking a little bit of a run here, um, I'll definitely show you guys. All right, here we go. 13 seconds left in the half. Most people would probably be throwing the bomb here. This guy's actually bringing down his safeties. I should, I should probably have an easy touchdown, actually. You know, I'm actually going to try for the touchdown here. Fills the wrong gap. Hold up. Get out, Clyde. Oh, my. Cl Clyde, go. Oh, my. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Clyde. Clyde. There's no way. There's actually no way. Oh, my. Okay. Actually, really get carried by Clyde. I'm going to take my three points. Clyde just basically got us a free field goal on that run. I'm not sure how no one caught him, but his Taylor Mays filled the wrong gap. I think he was expecting me to pass the ball right there, which I don't blame him to think because most people would probably be passing the ball at the end of the half, but because we're built different, Clyde bust a big run right there and we do end up getting three points out of that drive go watch underneath oh he's gonna throw the out route right there no he's oh that well he hit that one right wide open his dk's gonna be open for another touchdown there's no way i'm getting killed by dk metcalf right right now like this oh man i'm getting torched bro it's, it's either a one play touchdown or it's gonna be a long methodical drive and wow my defense right now is just non-existent oh, here we go another run oh we should have this hole again we're gonna have that same hole we had earlier and there's taylor mays getting back into the play and it hits the and clyde after a nice little gain right there. But yeah, Clyde's, get, Clyde's got punished right there by uh, Taylor Mays, dude. We're going to have Clyde open. And nope, it's picked off by Aaron Donald. And Brock Bat for a pick six. Oh my. Oh, dude. The, un the amount of unlucky we've gotten so far today in this in this video is actually in insane. Clyde's going to get open. Just catch it, my boy. Don't get hit sick. Get out. Get out. Okay, breaks a tackle. Another first down right there for Clyde. I wonder how many receiving yards we have with him. Get up, get, get up field, Clyde. Oh, man, dude, that COD and that speed just doesn't feel good. That, dude, dude, that just doesn't, dude, that, you saw that right there? Oh, man, bro, that should have been a touchdown easily. I had so much room right there. All right, come on, let me just try to get Clyde open on an angle right. Is it, oh, I might have Clyde open. Clyde, go, no, he's Taylor Mays, peels back off and tackles me for a loss, man. All right, it was a, it was a good effort for my boys today, you know? Um... I expect the guy just to probably run the whole clock down and not give me not give me another touch. That's probably what he's gonna do. This is the first time that I actually can say I don't know how to stop this guy. Like I don't. I I mean even against cover two, that's probably gonna get open as he lets goes another touchdown. This is this is bad. This is really bad. This this might be the worst loss in channel history. Um, it, but it's not about it's how about it's about how we bounce back, man. I mean this is definitely the worst loss I've ever taken. Um, as yup just just add insult to injury. But Clyde though, let's check the stats real quick. Let's go into the. The next gen stats, Clyde. Um, that guy actually didn't run the ball a single time, which even which even hurts me even more because usually my pass is the strong suit of my defense. But he didn't run the ball a single time, and and I still let I still let this guy drop 35 on me. But um, yeah, 23 carries for 136, uh, around six yards per carry, one touchdown, 
three broken tackles and as far as the receiver goes um Clyde had nine receptions for 56 so we had a hundred and 192 yards total right is that my, is that correct math wait yeah 192 yards total with Clyde today I mean only one touchdown but yeah definitely not the um not the outcome we're looking for man not the outcome we're looking for all right so that's gonna do it for the Clyde Edwards E. Laird gameplay and I feel I'm not gonna put that game I'm not gonna blame the game on Clyde because as you saw my defense was absolutely atrocious that game so I mean the, the blame goes to my defense obviously but Clyde there were a few there were a few moments in that game where I did have Clyde in open space but either wasn't able to you know break away because of his speed or wasn't able to really turn the corner um, with 87 COD so I don't really know this Clyde card I would only recommend this Clyde card if you are running a theme team I mean even if you are running a Chiefs theme team I do think that Le'Veon Bell is actually the better back because of the COD um, I mean both cards have similar speed but I do like Le'Veon um, a whole lot more than Clyde and also I do feel like Le'Veon broke a whole lot more tackles for me I don't know if you're running a Chiefs theme team I do like I definitely do like Le'Veon more than Clyde but um I mean I guess Clyde with like 93 speed 92 speed I guess he wouldn't be he wouldn't be terrible yeah but like that also doesn't cover up the fact that this guy only is gonna have 87 COD um or maybe if you run like a physical can that actually boost your COD um and honestly even with 89 COD it's not even that good I like I don't know and the 83 carrying too also could cause a problem I feel like that was a pretty like you know realistic look at this card um you know against a team that has super fast players on defense you're facing taylor mazes and also dudes aren't running the ball 21 times in a game of madden 21 madden 20 maybe with how good stretch was last year but in madden 21 you guys probably aren't running the ball that much so um like 21 carries for 120 for what well, we have like 130 yards isn't even good in itself i'm not saying that like we had the best like like the best run plays or the best blocks but i, I just wanted to see this card when he was in open space kind of execute a little bit more I just didn't really see that today, but as a pass catcher though, and getting separation on those short routes, um, he actually he actually wasn't too bad. As he does have, yeah, he's at 70 short route running, which actually isn't good at all. But I mean, on those Texas routes, he was getting some good separation. But yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. And the video helped you out after the video. Be sure to hit that like button. Um, and if you are still watching the video, comment the um, just comment comment the sunglass emoji, like the skyrocking the sunglasses. Comment that down in the uh, comment section down below if you are still watching. And by the way, if you are still watching, why are you still here? Why are you still watching me right now? You just watched me get bounced 35 to 10. I'm not sure why you're still watching. But um, yeah, uh, as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.